I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you questions based on quadratic functions. The question here is, the area of an isosceles triangle is 60 cm square and the length of each one of its equal sides is 13 cm. Find its base. So let's sketch a triangle. Let us say this is the isosceles triangle. That really means that if I drop a perpendicular from here, in that case, this perpendicular is going to divide them into equal sides. Perfect. Well, it doesn't look like in this diagram, but, but it has to be equal. So we'll just write 13 on each side. These two sides are equal. Perfect. So that's the triangle for us. Uh, so we can say that area is half base times height. Now we know the area which is 60. So 60 is half. Now what is base? So let us say that one of the equal sides is x. So the base will be 2x. So from here to here it will be 2x. Correct? So base is 2x. And what is height? Uh, so this is the height for us. How do we calculate? So since this is a right triangle, we can calculate height. So the height here should be, let's do it here. So we know that height square plus x square should be equal to 13 square. And so height is equals to 13 square is 169 minus x square square root. So I replace this value here. We say the height is square root of 169 minus x square, where x is half of the base. Full base is 2x. Remember that. Now it is a question of solving this particular equation. Now to solve, we can square both sides. So if you square, that is to say, we, this becomes 3600 equals to x square times all this, which is 169 minus x square. Hmm. So that gives you an equation with power of 4. So let's open this up. We have 3600 equals to 169 x square minus x to the power of 4. Let's bring them to the left side, x to the power of 4 minus 169 x square plus 3600 equals to 0. So that is the kind of equation which you have. Now, to solve this, you could factor it or you could use quadratic formula, right? So you could factor or use quadratic formula, whatever is good for you. Now, if you use quadratic formula, we can write that x squared, since we are writing in terms of x squared, is equal to negative of this, which is 169, plus or minus square root of 169 square minus 4 times a is 1, but c is 3600 divided by 2. So let's use the quadratic formula. Okay, so what do we have here? So we have, right, so it's a very big number, so I'm preferring to use quadratic formula. We'll root 169 plus minus. So let's calculate. Uh, what is there within the square root? So we have a square root of 169 square minus 4 times 3600. And that is equal to 119. So it is 119 divided by 2. So that gives you two values. One with, well, both could be valid, but you know this is 13. Okay, so we need a smaller value. So we will actually go in for 169 minus 119 over 2. So we get 169 minus 119 and then divide it by 2 to give us the value as 25, right? So, so we found that x square is 25. So we have x square equals to 25. So x has to be square root of 25, which is, which is 5. Okay? 
So we get the height half of the base as as 5. Now what is the base? Base is 2 times x. So it is equals to 2 times 5 or 10 and the units are centimeters, 10 centimeters. So that becomes our answer, right? So this is our answer. So I hope the method is straightforward and that is how it could be solved. Thank you.